Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my Sephora picks for this wonderful spring sale. And you know, I was not going to do this video because I thought, well, a lot of these products I've mentioned before, but I did want to show you my absolute favorite products and I took everything out that was something that was kind of an also ran. I am showing you my absolute top favorite products. I have all of them on today and I'll be telling you about that as I go through this video. But first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things for 50 plus beauties, then I hope you go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of future videos. Okay, before we get down to this, I did want to show you a couple of wonderful items that I found that are clothing items, including this wonderful top from Banana Republic. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. I feel like you're my girlfriends and so I really like to share good buys when I find them with you. This comes in black and cream and it is a wonderful basic piece and I'm also going to show you a trench coat that I got from Nordstrom's at the end of the video. Okay, let's get down to my Sephora picks for the spring sale and as many of you know for Rouge people you get 20% off for the VIBs which is the level that I am you get 15% off and then for the Beauty Insiders you get 10% off and I'll put all that information below in the video so you can click on the link and go through and look around at Sephora. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is a cologne and I have just discovered Jo Malone lately and I have been obsessed. I am not kidding you. You would not believe how many of these colognes I have tried so far and this is my absolute favorite one. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Jo Malone, it's a line of colognes that is natural. It's out of London. And this is basically a whole wardrobe of colognes that you can layer with each other. However, after all I've tried, and I've probably tried 12 to 15 lately, this is my absolute favorite. And this is the Jo Malone Orange Blossom Cologne. And this was the wedding perfume for Meghan Markle when she wed Prince Harry. And that is not the reason I got it. I got it because it smells absolutely divine. And ladies, nothing smells good on me. And this perfume is just light and airy, but it has that kind of classy chic feel to it. This has become my number one cologne. And as soon as I place my Sephora order, this is going to go into my cart. All they have is the large size and it's over a hundred dollars, but I figure now is a good time to get it at the Sephora sale because for me, it will be 15% off. Now my next Sephora fave that I actually don't need to purchase again because I just purchased a full size tube. I should have waited for the sale, but this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have it on today. It just gives you a beautiful light matte glow. And I say glow because to me, it doesn't look necessarily matte because it does give you a little bit of I would say glow, not shine, and I wear it in the color Warm Nude, which for me is an absolutely perfect color. So if you have about my coloring, you would love this Peach Perfect foundation. It is a medium to a full coverage foundation. I have a lot of red veins on my face, a few other veins under my eyes. This covers it just beautifully. It is buildable, but I never need to do that. This foundation covers everything you need to cover, and it wears all day. Now my next fave is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and this is a wonderful trick to help lighten up your under eyes. I have it on today, and there it is, and I don't want to really, ooh, I'm dusting powder everywhere, but it's just a little white powder that goes under your eyes, and it just brightens your under eye area, and it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Now I also use and love this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's what I have on today. In fact, it's what I wear most days, and here it is. It's just a little finely milled powder. I don't know if you can see that. I love the translucent color. In fact, they have several colors, but I would totally recommend translucent because it works for every skin tone. It just sets your makeup beautifully, gets rid of that little bit of shine that we all have after applying our makeup. And while it gets rid of the shine, it doesn't leave you with that cakey matte kind of old lady look. I absolutely love this setting powder. Now I am addicted to this next Sephora fave and this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette and as those of you who watch my channel know, you hardly can get me out of this eyeshadow palette and it's not what I'm wearing now. I'll show you that one in just a moment 
but here it is absolutely gorgeous neutral colors i have never found a palette that has more wearable neutral colors i absolutely love this silk teddy color as you can see it's what i normally wear on my lids this color called heaven is heavenly on your brows and then i use this cashmere bunny in my crease it's a very natural crease color for the day but you can build it up for the evening i truly love this palette in fact i'm going to my niece's wedding she's getting married in switzerland and so very soon i'll be going to switzerland and she wants me to do her makeup and as part of her wedding gift i'm actually going to take her this Too faced natural matte palette she's a young girl and she really doesn't like that overly made up look and this palette can give you that beautiful natural look or it can be made more dramatic i think she'll really enjoy this palette in fact i need another one of these as you can tell by the shape of this palette so i'll be ordering two of these now this next eyeshadow palette is a total luxury it is a tom ford eyeshadow quad and i have owned this for about the past year i absolutely love it and i would not pay the high price except at a sephora sale this is the tom ford coco mirage palette look at those wonderful very neutral colors the reason i ordered this palette in such a neutral form because they have quite a few colors is because i really wanted to get my use out of it and i didn't want a blue or a green based palette I really wanted a very natural palette these are all matte shades and these Tom Ford palettes go on like butter they blend absolutely beautifully and just give your eyes that high-end look now my next Sephora recommendation is this Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection palette in fact just a few segments ago I noticed that my face was looking really wide because I've got this new hairstyle that I'm still wrestling with ladies I know that's kind of off the beaten path to mention that but it's driving me a little crazy but I will figure it out by the way I have no hair extension I'm trying to go natural now but getting back to this palette anytime your face looks just a little wide and you want to narrow it down a little bit I highly recommend a good contour and highlight palette and this is the Too Faced contour palette absolutely love this one I use this as my under cheek contour color and this as my highlighter color and this color called pop of light is absolutely beautiful look how natural that contour color is it is not a strident orangey type of contour which I really like the more grayed out versions and look at that beautiful highlighter as the name implies this just does give you a pop of light and if you're just getting into contours and highlighters I totally recommend this palette now this next contour and highlighter palette I have had for maybe going on two years and I would never give this up this is the Kevin Aquan the contour book volume 2 and look at all those wonderful colors and as you can see I've gotten a lot of use out of this absolutely love this candlelight powder and this is an iconic highlighter and absolutely gives you just that perfect glow very very natural but you can intensify it and make it look a little more dramatic for evening and I also love his sculpting powder and here that is again another very very natural looking contour and i really think this palette is very versatile because it also has these wonderful eyeshadows at the bottom i'll show you that light color here and also this beautiful pink and the lighter color could also be a great brow color and then you have this cool tan color which is wonderful in the crease and here is a darker color to give a little drama to the outer v if you would like to do that just beautiful eyeshadow and very natural contour and highlighter i can't recommend this palette highly enough now my next recommendation is a little bit of a splurge i have really been getting kind of addicted to charlotte tilbury and i had to try this blush and i am loving it this is the charlotte tilbury swish and pop blusher in the color love glow look at that absolutely beautiful this is the blush that i have on right now and the thing that i like about this is that it gives me a little bit of that fuchsia color that i love it gives you that slight bit of love pop as they say that beautiful fuchsia color but then it blends it in with this peachy tone which keeps everything looking natural absolutely love this gorgeous blush now i'm a little bit out of order here as i realized i didn't finish the eyes because i have two sephora faves for my eyes the first is this stila huge extreme lash mascara as those of you who watch my channel know this is my go-to all-time favorite mascara i think it gives you almost a lash extension look and look at that beautiful thick head i love the way it has a little bit of a waist for some reason i'll put a little more on the thing i love about this mascara is that it is so buildable and you can build it up to exactly the level of drama that you prefer and i'm a drama girl girls i really like the dramatic long thick lash that this mascara gives me it wears all day and i'm going to repurchase 
Now friends, my next fave is the eyeliner that I have on today, and it's a liquid liner. I normally use pencil, but I've been using liquid liners lately. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. There it is. This is just a little travel size version, but I have the large version somewhere in all of my eyeliners. Long ago when I started my YouTube channel, I had never really used liquid liners before, and I went into Sephora and I said, please give me an easy liquid eyeliner. And two different Sephora reps recommended this Kat Von D tattoo liner. They said it was so easy and that it just goes on like a dream, and it really does. I really love the little head that it has on here. It's a very narrow, kind of a precision brush, and the thing I like about it is when you first start your line, you just basically lie it down there, and it gives you the perfect transition from no liner to liner, and then you just drag it slowly along there or do your little strokes. It can make a wonderful little wing. It is super easy, it doesn't flake, and it lasts all day. Now the next four products are again Charlotte Tilbury and they are products I absolutely love. The first is this Pillow Talk lipstick and I'm probably on my fourth tube of this even though it's a little pricey and I'll be repurchasing again because 15% off for me is absolutely wonderful. It is the lipstick that I have on right now and it is called Pillow Talk and you have to have been born under a rock to not know Pillow Talk. It's a very iconic lipstick. And look at the horrible way in which I'm using that. I don't know why, but my lipsticks always end up in a point. But this Matte Revolution lipstick just goes on like a dream. Even though they call it matte, I really wouldn't say it's that much of a matte. It gives you just the tiniest bit of shine. It does not feel drying at all like typical matte lipsticks. It goes on, it stays on, and wow, what a great pinky nude color. Now my next recommendation is again a Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the color Very Victoria. And this is a little bit more of a dramatic nude color, just a little bit darker. And while I like the lighter nude colors, sometimes I'm in the mood for just a little bit more lipstick looking lipstick, a little more dramatic. I'll swatch that on my hand to kind of show you how it looks. There is a look at that Very Victoria lipstick. And I'll put it next to the Pillow Talk. Here's another tube that I have of the Pillow Talk. It's totally worn down. And as you can see, the Pillow Talk is a lighter pinky nude, whereas the Very Victoria has a little bit more drama, a little bit more rosy brown in it, makes a little more of a statement. Absolutely love both of those Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Now for a lip liner, the only Charlotte Tilbury lip liner I have is this Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. Really a fabulous lip liner, and I wear it along with my Pillow Talk. There it is, and as you can see, it's a perfect match for the Pillow Talk lipstick. I have it on right now, and what I like about this liner is that it lasts a good long time, it lasts all day, and it doesn't bleed into my lip lines. Now my next Sephora fave is again Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. This is the powder that I carry around in my purse all day. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of it. I'll show you how it looks. Oh, it just feels buttery, buttery, buttery. I wear it in the color two medium, but as you can tell, I'm rather fair, so maybe this runs a little bit light. I apply this in the morning and again around noon, and when I apply it during the day, it nulls out that shine and just gives me that flawless airbrushed look. Now, my last four products are actually my wants products, and these are products I will be ordering because I don't yet have them, but I have been waiting for this sale in order to get them at a discount. The first is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is an iconic palette that you hear about all over YouTube, and if you've seen Charlotte apply makeup, this is the one step that to me gives that chiseled look, especially under the cheekbones, and Charlotte uses that highlighter to just give extra sparkle to the tops of the cheekbones right under the eye eyes, the center of the face, the cupid's bow on the lip, a little bit on the nose, and it just really gives you that beautiful kind of glowing Hollywood kind of a look. I can hardly wait to get it and I'll be showing it in future videos. Now the next product that I'll be ordering during the Sephora sale is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, and here is a look at it here. Absolutely love the colors in this palette. It's got pinks and peaches and wonderful looking highlighters. It's not that expensive to begin with, but it's an extra bonus getting it on sale. Now my last two wants that I will be picking up at the sale are both highlighter and contour palettes, or the first one is just highlighter. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Hourglass just does absolutely beautiful highlighters, and you hear about this one all over YouTube. It's really become an iconic palette, and I can't wait to try it out. Now my final want is again a Kevin Aquan palette. I am a sucker for Kevin Aquan. I wish he had not passed from us. He was a wonderful human being and a fabulous makeup artist. Look at this gorgeous palette. 
It has three shades of bronzer in light, medium, and dark, depending upon your skin tone. It has two new highlighters, which apparently offer a big pop of highlight, so I'm excited about that. And then the pink one at the top is called Venice, and they call that a Neo Bronzer, but to me it looks like I'll be using that as a blush. Can't wait to get this palette. Now at the first of the video, I told you I'd be showing you a few new wardrobe items, and lately I've been thinking that I have a whole huge closet full of a lot of stuff and nothing to wear. So in the coming months, I'm really going to try to get back to the basics, to get back to neutrals, to get back to not trendy styles, but pieces that I can wear this year, next year, and the year after. The first is a button-down shirt that I purchased from Banana Republic. Here it is, absolutely love it. This is a silk looking shirt, but quite honestly, I really don't like silk shirts because they tend to gather up the perspiration and smell bad, to be honest with you. And also they need careful washing and careful ironing. This, I believe, is a rayon shirt, but it looks just like silk. It drapes beautifully. I have this in black and ivory, and I'll put the links below. The thing I really like about this shirt is that it is very classy looking, very rich looking. I've worn this shirt and actually the other one too to enrollment meetings. So I have to look businesslike and professional and it just looks classy. And I have washed both of these shirts maybe three or four times already and they wash up just beautifully. Just wash them, hang them dry, and then hit them with a light iron. It doesn't take much at all, and they look good as new again. And I like this shirt because although you can dress it up for business, it's very versatile, and you can like wear it with jeans to a movie. The thing I like about that is even though you're wearing it with jeans, it just gives you that classy, elegant look that I think just elevates your jeans outfit. And right now I have it unbuttoned, which is how I like to wear it with jeans. However, for a little more professional look, I button it up there. Absolutely love these two great shirts. In fact, when I link to it below, I'm going to follow that link myself and see if they have other colors because this is a fabulous shirt. And the next thing I wanted to show you is a classic trench coat. It's camel colored, which I really wanted a camel trench coat. You can wear it in the rain, but actually I plan to wear it a lot in the spring and the fall. I have the belt tied in the back. It actually has a self-tie belt that you can bring to the front, but I think that can look a little bit too bunchy, at least in terms of my body. I got this one from Nordstrom's and it's on sale for less than $100. I actually ordered two trench coats, but far and away, this is my favorite. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you subscribe and click the bell. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and recently I've been picking a scripture from this God's Promises for Every Day. I had kind of a situation in my life that was very, very difficult, and before that situation, I promised God that if he brought me through it unscathed, which he really did, and it was a true miracle, that I would turn my life over to him even more completely. And believe me, I am not a perfect Christian. I'm just struggling out here just like everyone else. But every now and then, I think we need to recommit. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these scriptures. Ooh, here's a good one. Serve only the Lord your God. Respect him, keep his commands, and obey him. Serve him and be loyal to him. And that's Deuteronomy 13, verse 4. And what I love about this one is serve only the Lord your God. And that is something that I've been really guilty of my life, is that I tend to get off in these phases. And while hair and makeup and all this beauty stuff is great, even that can become a distraction from God. You know, God wants us to be beautiful. He wants us to be healthy. He wants us to have hobbies and enjoy our life. But the first thing in life I always need to remember is to put God first and try to serve Him. And that is something that I've really been trying to do more and more, is to not try to be the God of my own life, to not try to direct everything, because that is just frustrating and controlling others' lives and happiness. I really need to learn to leave that to God, and it's a constant struggle. I give things to God, and then I bring them back. But if you're a Christian like me, I hope that just for today, we'll both remember to serve God first. Take care. See you next time.